Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. During the holidays, I remember uh, dealing with my depression after a breakup. And one of the things that I found hard um, to manage was the fact that I would go home and I was living alone. It was a big breakup for me, and I'd lived with somebody for quite some time, and this would be the first year that I had not um, been with that person. For the next six years, I, well, for the next two years of the six years, I fell into a depression. I was alone. I was sad. I felt sorry for myself, and I didn't know what hole to come out of because I dug a hole so deep. I'm here to tell you that I'm a survivor of being alone. I'm a survivor of being depressed throughout the holidays. And you don't have to do it alone. Because I have been there and I'm offering you a helping hand. Have Faith, Let It Begin. Wednesday edition. Starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Hey, Ariel, can you say, have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say, have faith. Let it, Let it begin. No, no. No? No? Okay. Hey. It's the boy. Hi, Noah. Noah! Hi, Noah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Happy birthday, Noah. Hey, oh, oh, amazing. You just get those nice Noah. Have faith. Let begin when it starts right now. Happy Wednesday, everyone, on this December 21st, 2022. Don't forget the story of the candy cane on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. It's our annual tradition. I hope that you'll join us. Folks, I want to start off by saying that you're not alone. I know you've heard this before. I know that maybe right about now you don't want to hear me say that to you because you are in a funk. I know. Believe me when I tell you, I know. Maybe, you know, I'm not here to try to compare that yours is worse than mine or mine was, but I understand what it feels like to be, quote unquote, alone on the holidays. I'm here to tell you that you don't have to be alone. That You know, you have your family, you have your friends, you have your health. And that is the one thing that I forgot about during my depression. I forgot that I didn't have to be alone. And that's one of the things that I want to stress upon you today. You have the ability to wake up, to put your chin up and say to yourself, I am better than this because my heavenly father is going to strengthen me, is going to guide me, is going to pick me up. Now, easier said than done, right? I get it. But you know what? One of the things that helped me was, again, and I'm speaking from my own personal experience, I've stuck around positive people. I got away away from the negativity. I kept myself uh, moving in a very positive atmosphere. Now, that didn't take away the hurtness and the sorrow and the misery at nighttime, which is usually what was my, my worst time. You know, or putting on a movie and seeing something that you had watched with that loved one that brought back memories. Or even having to live in the same place where all the memories that you had and once shared is in front of you. You know, it's just like hitting you directly in the face saying, I remember when. But you know what? Anger sets in. I know. When you start getting angry and you start realizing why that person did you wrong and that you realize that you are better than this, that's when you start to say, okay, wait a minute. I can do this. Now, I'm not here to tell you that if you haven't got angry that you're not on the right track. I'm just saying that if you're in that stage, I get it. But one of the things that we have to remember, if you have children, your children need you to stay positive, to stay focused on the task at hand. Don't allow anyone to steal your joy. Don't allow anyone to tell you that you are not capable because you are. God has a plan for you. Now, you're not being punished. God didn't say, okay, I don't want these two together. Whatever the case may be of why you're no longer in the relationship or no longer with your colleague at work or working at that facility that you've worked at for so many years, there is a new plan. There's a new focus. There's a new path. And this path takes place. This path is open for you today. 
So my prayer for you is this. If you're alone on the holidays, I want you to be aware that you do not have to be alone. You can pray to God. You can shout to God. You can take yourself to a place where others are having a good time. And even if you have to get in your car and drive back home knowing you're going to be at home by yourself, always remember that it's you, the Holy Spirit, and of course, our Heavenly Father. So guess what? You're in great company, and I understand what you're going through. If you're going home to two children, three children, one child, your responsibility is to keep that child happy and allow that child to make you happy. Because at the end of the day, it is your responsibility to make sure to make sure that you're, you as a parent keeps that child in a positive light. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. You're not alone. God loves you. God trusts you. God believes in you. And God is never going to leave your side. And never forget. Have faith. Let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, man, love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730 Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impre- <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. <laughs>